More and more people coming out admitting they knew pretty much what Harvey Weinstein was up to and yet said nothing. Jane Fonda now says she's ashamed for not going public with what she knew before. Listen. I found out about Harvey about a year ago, and I'm ashamed that I didn't say anything right then. Why didn't you? You're so bold. I, I, I was not that bold. <laughs> Because I guess it hadn't happened to me, and so I didn't feel it was my place. <laughs> Why didn't you? You're so bold. You're such a good person. Ugh. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton wishes people would stop talking about Harvey Weinstein, a major donor to her, and go after President Trump instead. At the same time, though, she says countless allegations against her husband are just old news. This kind of behavior cannot be tolerated anywhere, whether it's in entertainment, politics. Well, you know, after all, we have someone admitting to being a sexual assaulter in the Oval Office. And yet in your book, the three women brought onto stage mm -hmm. by Trump attacking your husband, and you kind of dismiss them. Was that the right thing to do? Are you sure about that? More than kind of dismiss them. Tammy Bruce. Wow is undismissable. She's a radio show host and she joins us tonight. Hey, um, Tammy, what do you, I mean, look, I, I, you know, I don't, none of these, you know, Hillary Clinton didn't sexually assault anybody. On the other hand, if you hold yourself up as a defender of all women, you probably ought to defend all women, shouldn't you? Yeah, you should. And this is what's a real tragedy for me as a feminist. The feminist movement clearly has been a fraud um, all these decades. We have a moment in time where these women, Jane Fonda, Donna Karen, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, um, uh, Helen Mirren, Emma Thompson, women who hold themselves up as feminists, were in fact distracting everyone with attacks on Donald Trump. And you heard Hillary Clinton say an admitted sexual assaulter. That is a lie. He never did because he is not. And, and for, to move that effort to try to distract people uh, is, is part of the crime here. Because while they're doing that and trying to smear a political opponent with a contrived dynamic, in the, ignoring the carnage in their own town, how many women, while Jane Fonda was silent as an example, and, and Hillary Clinton was going to parties with Harvey Weinstein, how many young women, how many more in that year were thrown into the Harvey Weinstein volcano? Well, These exactly. are the questions that they have to face. And Jane Fonda being ashamed is not enough. She made a decision. What was happening last year? when her friend, I believe it was Rosanna Arquette, who told her. When, what was happening? Well, the campaign was happening. And, and being honest about what was happening would ruin the Democrat narrative. It would ruin their narrative about their political opponent. So, so somehow there was a decision that this was preferred, that this would be the distraction about, about the fa a false dis uh, distraction and claim by the Democrats. So as, as feminists and all of us, not only do uh, these women who are established need to speak up in order to change this environment, which we all want changed. But their silence does, in fact, contribute to the, to the continuation uh, of, of this horror that's unfolding. What I found so fascinating about that clip from the Hillary Clinton interview that we played was that she was being interviewed by an English reporter, by a Brit. Only a British reporter would have asked her as directly as he did. No American reporter ever would say, wait a second, what about these women who claimed your husband abused and raped them and you dismissed them as liars? Great point. Why doesn't anybody ever say that? It's such an obvious point. Well, it's because there, there is a deference to her. I mean, she is the hero. And it's difficult. For me, this is difficult. Yes. For, for all of us, my generation, her generation, is the one that came, you know, before, is, was to set this table so that we could take our power and, and make lives that best suited us. And here they are in the moment of, of need in the 21st century, while they're here and can make an impact, betraying us. And, and, and that becomes more of the issue. Now, you saw it with Christiane Amanpour, also with Jane Fonda, being very gentle, whereas at least Fonda admitted it. And the fact is, that becomes part of the problem. Uh, and it, for when it comes to the a huge Democrat donor and fundraiser of Harvey Weinstein, it does yeah. go beyond him. And it's all been a fraud of making people look at the, a shiny object at Donald Trump when, in fact, everything they were complaining about was happening in their own home. Yeah, in spades. Tammy Bruce, thank you for that summation. Thanks, Appreciate Tucker. It.